Hi Aries, it's Ellie and welcome to your weekly reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Aries regarding love this week. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week ahead. All right. Your overall energy for this week... Aries is the Four of Cups, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Lover's card, and then the Six of Wands, all right, okay. You have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Cups, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles, all right, let me see. Six and six here. Repeating numbers are angels telling you that they are there for you, all right? Uh huh. Top of mind when you notice Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Cups is in between. It just means you have to love yourself a lot more this, this week. Self love that's going to make you ascend, all right? Your challenge for this week is the Nine of Swords, Aries. I feel that there will be a lot of sleepless nights this week. I understand and see very clearly that you are seeing a lot of red flags in the relationship. I'm hearing you realized after a long time that there have been red flags that you didn't even notice or you've been noticing but you really, you know, shrugged off. That's what I'm hearing. And now all the red flags are really coming back at you and now you are having a lot of sleepless nights all right please take it how it resonates you know if it if it's not your reading it's not your reading you can look at your other signs but right now this is the energy so your overall energy for this week is the four of cups aries i feel that you have been very disappointed there's a lot of disappointment here. Usually, this is the manifestation card, my manifestation card, one of my manifestation cards. But I feel that this, particularly at this, with this reading, this is a lot of disappointment. You realize that there were a lot of things, there were a lot of things that happened in the relationship. You gave this relationship so many tries, but no matter how much you tried. It's never working out. And you re you're starting to realize that it's been disappointing. You're starting to realize that uh, you're starting to know or understand the reason why. All right? All right. Okay. So I do feel very heavily that there's a lot of baggage. There is a lot of baggage in this relationship. There is a lot of wounding. I'm hearing that it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Everything's so heavy now. And I'm ready to let go. You're actually really looking at how your relationship grew. Alright? How did it develop? Did it come into the fruition into fruition the way you want it to? Are you still going to put work in this relationship? But it's very heavy. Why am I going to put more work in it if it's so heavy already? That is what I'm hearing. Alright? Um yeah i do feel that there is a decision that has to be made the lover's card well there are two energies the lover's card here it just means there is a decision that has to be made all right you have to decide whether or not you want to say you want to heal this relationship it's all it's all up to you totally up to you all right you always have the call on that but i do feel that you are actually in a very deep soul connection deep soul tie with a person probably dealing with a twin flame not really necessarily you could be dealing with um, a soulmate or a karmic 
not really necessarily, but someone you have a really, really deep soul connection to or someone you have really deep love, all right? You've spent a lot of love on, selfless kind of love, all right? This person re um, is really attached to you because you are so loving, I'm hearing. You are so loving, all right? Um, yeah. I do feel that For some reason, I do feel that you're going solo. You're going solo for some reason. You're going to rebuild your life. You're going solo. You're going to rebuild your confidence. You're going solo. You're going to be attracted, attractive. People are going to notice you, all right? So it means, well, it just means that you're going to decide more. The, the decision, the spread here is leaning towards you're going to decide on leaving your connection all right um take it how it resonates um but the energy of the six of wands card here is about you're going solo you're going to be so attractive and a lot of people are looking your way i'm hearing but you are so busy focusing on work focusing on rebuilding yourself that you don't notice that there you are attracting so many so much attention so so many eyes on you all right so many eyes on you, Aries. It's nice. Let's see the overall outcome. Overall outcome. All right. Okay. So I do feel the overall outcome is you have the Emperor, the King of Swords, and then the Fool. So you are attracting kings and emperors, all right? Um, this is a new star for you. It's weird how that connects there. <laughs> right? Okay. You are really looking at a new start. All right. You feel that you have to do this. All right. So Aries, if this is not your reading, this is not your reading, but this is for someone. This is for some Aries that needs to hear this. You are going to be fine. You are going to be fine um, leaving your current connection. That's so heavy and you're going to attract a lot of people including a king of swords and then the emperor so king of swords someone who has air energy um gemini libra aquarius not really necessary but i feel that strong gemini but you know gemini here and gemini here right so yeah you're going to attract a king of swords someone who's very strategic someone who plans a lot someone who really is very blunt and very communicative very mature all right highly intelligent all right and then you're going to attract the emperor all right it's nice the king of all kings someone who's a boss someone who might be holding a high position in a company someone who has his own company you know possibly someone who is very mature all right not just age wise but you know mentally emotionally mature all right someone very stable okay it's nice it's nice my gosh all right what is the advice here advice for aries all right those are three cards. all right the advice here is the three of cups the four of swords and then the eight of cups okay so advice here is to walk away walk away from things that no longer serve you walk away from things that you have outgrown never try to make things fit when you have outgrown all right leave things behind if they don't grow with you then that is their loss all right so you have the four of swords the four of swords here it just means you have to heal you have to rejuvenate get ready because when the king and the emperor comes in it's going to be i'm hearing it's a really 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 nice time all right whirlwind okay and you have the three of cups this relationship that you are ending it's going to, you're going to get a lot of support i'm hearing your friends and family don't even like this person all right so it's fine you are highly supported by your friends and family by your soul tribe don't worry about it people 
love you so much, all right? Okay, let's cap off your reading with some oracle cards. You have playfulness, all right? To recapture romance, allow your inner soulful spirit of fun to shine. It's nice. Playfulness. Okay. What aspect of love do you have to focus on right now? Or activate? Let's see. Okay, we have two. <laughs> you have tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. And then friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another or in order to forge love-based connections. That's nice. It's actually nice. All right. Then let's see the wisdom of the oracle. Get that. You have flexible. That is number 19. Let's see. What is number 19? Flexible. All right, relationship message. In every relationship, it is important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what is required right now, okay? You do not always have to be right all the time, do you? Is it okay to come to a happy compromise? Can you still get your needs met? You can still get your needs met. It is a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may be who may not be your type but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you be flexible you will be happy you made that choice all right so that is actually a really really nice reading i hope something in the reading resonated aries if it did Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And please comment down below how this reading resonated for you. I love you all so much. Have a great week and stay blessed.